What's up, everyone? We are live. It is Thursday the 20th, and we are playing another awesomely mid-range brew. This week's just been full of mid-range, and I am okay with this. So, what we got going on tonight is a five-color mid-shell uh, that's topping out with Nico. So, it's a little Planeswalker heavy. Uh, yet again, this one comes from our good friend Ryan. Um, next week, I'll probably dedicate more to the control side of life. But I want to do some mid-ranging this week. I haven't found a control shell I like yet. So, so let's rock and roll. And just wait, we're waiting on our cards to show up at this given point. So. But I hope you guys are having a good night. There we go. So. Things, I like this deck a lot. I like Woodland Wanderer too right now. It seems kind of good. So. He said he's been testing pretty well with it. So let's give it a go. There we go. There we go. Good to go. Let's rock and roll. I don't know what our opponent was doing there, but okay. So let's see. What the deck is trying to do is live till we get Nico out. Um, yeah, I'm actually fine with this. Keep... Ah, it's the mono red deck. All right, that's fine. We should be able to quickly out threat. Planes. Our goal is to basically uh, Woodland Wanderer on four. This is like a two ticks red. All right, well, we may lose this one. What we need is a Sylvan Advocate at this point, or an Abrade, or a Harness Lightning. Hmm. 
All right. Not what I want to see. But it is going to be a 6-6 six, six Wanderer, so... So let's, uh, we'll talk about Wanderer in a second. So Wanderer has Converge, which is an older mechanic from BFZ. Uh, so it's for every color spent. It gets, this one gets a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So our goal is to spend four different mana colors. So it gets three extra counters. So it's a 5-5. Five, five. If I remember correctly, yeah, it'd be a 5-5. Five, five. Or it might be a six. I forget what, you, what it maxes out at. Um, all right, we'll do that. We're not dead by far. And, I mean, it's got Trample and Vigilance, which is pretty big. Um, two really huge keywords. I mean, it's an angry tree. Don't anger the tree. Now right, we're going to take a little bit of a beating here. Six, seven. Put us at eight. All right. Oh, Oath of Nyssa. Blue, red. All four colors. Yeah, 6-6. Six, six. Good news is we can um, Chandra and Oath next turn. Uh, Tamio would be a much appreciated right now. And we're dead. All right, well, it's two ticks red. So uh, we bring in, oh, he doesn't have it. So we'd have to bring in nose and bring in nose and bring in net. And we do cut Nico, Samut. I think one torch. We just bring in a whole ton of removal. Nope. Green would have been good. Oh. Hopefully we'll draw red. We'll keep. Uh, bottom net. I feel like you're missing radiant flames here. All right, that helps. So we can do this and do that. Get a red source. Depending on what our opponent plays, we'll play the red source. The gorger, I'm not too worried about. And they're missing a land drop, so uh, we will sanctum here. Uh, yeah. That's going to be helpful.
I may just Tamio here. I don't think he has any two drops with his built to smash. That's fine. I mean, I might harness maybe. Yeah, we will let the turn go. And what our plan will be is we're going to harness on his turn, play refiner next turn, and then play Tamio and tick onto the refiner so we start drawing cards. We want to see him blow another built to smash. Or that works. Because he's tapped down now. So I can blow one. Yep, one energy. Murder it. We'll take the two. So that is, we're okay with that, because he was tapped down, we took two no matter what. And that is an okay trade for us. Alright, so I could actually do both here. So if I go blue, green, colorless because now we have double tamio ticks so tamio when we plus her we choose two creatures and if they deal damage combat damage we get to draw a card for each combat damage drawn so each creature draws us a card so that feels really good and advocate's going to be a four or five next turn which is super relevant this is like our oh we need an emergency but I, we pretty much with them just being on one land for four turns uh, we pretty much got the game locked that's fine It's two ticks red. They say, if, and if we run into a problem, we do have a valve to get rid of it, which is this right here. All right, so I'm going to play the. Both are going to come into play tapped anyway, but we want the other red source, so um, we are going to green. Where I do that. And turn. Yep, yeah, this is your list, Rye. I gotta get you on Skype someday. Alright, so if he chooses to trade with the Rogue Refiner, we're fine with that. It did its job, got us two energy, and drew us a card. Um, yeah, that's. That we're actually completely fine with that trade. So we're gonna draw two cards here. Thank you, Billy. I saw you followed. You were number three hundred, I'm gonna say. So thank you for that. Um we are glad to have you. So thank you for being number 300.
And I can probably say, Vili NYC, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Spark. Everyone, welcome Vili to the Spark. Since you are in chat. So, what's nice here is... Uh, them discarding out all this just means we don't have to deal with it. And, I mean, they have chump blockers. But we are going to very nice. We're going to go with the tap approach here for this one. And then we are going to do this. Probably should have picked the Blood Rage, but it's fine. We 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 tend to uh, play a different deck every night on the Moto streams, as you've caught our YouTube video, so you do know this. Um, ooh, we got in a tune. All right, so we will. Attune, get some more energy. We already got enough green sources, so. I mean, if my opponent tries to attack and kill, we can uh, harness lightning. So, all right, so they're going to flow tracker. It's going to die either way, so we're going to let it die. And they go out. Sorry, guys, give me one second here. My wife has a very important question for me. She needs my email address because my son's going to pre-K next year. Alright, so that works. And we did win. Alright, let's, let's get going. Let's keep going. Alright, so we won the first game because our opponent didn't play a land and didn't have a land uh so i don't call that a really good test there second game we got trucked third game we actually had a pretty decent stop gap and our opponent was missing on drops but two ticks red could definitely do that um you know what? i actually like this hand a lot so let's keep Because we do have uh, the man, the myth, the legend in our hand, Mr. Nico Bolas himself. So I want to attune first. Um, what are we going to get? It really won't matter because we have the Oath of Nyssa. It matters for our creature spells, though. We have, yeah, as I say, I think it's a mountain. Yeah, let's get a mountain. So I think we're saving it, depending on what our opponent does. All right, so that's an authority of the council. That's um, interesting. We will say that, to say the least. All right. Well, I mean, I think I'm going to play Advocate here. And our goal is just to get to Nico. So. I mean, I don't know what my... I forgot to... Good luck, have fun, my opponent. So let's do that. 
You always good luck have fun your opponents, because as always, I like to say, if you're not having fun, I don't know what you're doing. We do love our decks. We love magic in general. And I am looking forward to FNM tomorrow. It's my first, uh, I guess your first paper event I get to play in. A little standard action. Probably be on a, a pseudo green red list because I don't have all my green red cards. Because someone's borrowing all mine. But we'll be, we'll, we'll be throwing something together. Our opponent is connected. I mean, I'm just being honest. I'll probably be on green red. I have everything to play. The only thing I'm missing is Nico himself. If I decide to go a control route. We got my water. Water's right here. Yeah, Brian's a braids. But I got mine. My pa old stuff came in. You know, the Frank Sanities, the Hour of Promise, the Abrades, the Supreme Will, Struggle to Survive, the River Hoopoo, my Desert Lands, my Doom Falls, my Hydras, my Life Goes On, and my Beneath the Sands, just in case I decide to run a ramp. So, I, I heard you got some foil struggles. So, I think we're going to drop our opponent here. Uh, I get them dropping, having internet issues. It does happen, though. So, we'll just get jump into another game. For the sake of the people. Do, do. Uh, one land, nothing to do. Uh, no. See, I am okay with this. And our opponent's mulling into death. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that on top. So our opponent went to five. We want to six, but we have a functional hand. Get a mountain. Well, I mean, who doesn't love the good old struggles? It's two toot. Oh, uh, is this a green red energy deck? Oh, they're going to be so angry when I... <laughs> Alright. Um... Don't have any double green. We're going to go another mountain. I'm pretty sure we're going to see two toot and then two toot. Oh, this may be just straight up two toot. That's a Ronus. Interesting. All right, so we're drawing our stuff. We'll trekker. There's two toot. Two toot will live this turn. Yeah, we'll take five. Two toot, you will die. All right, so if I play that, 
we get a clue, I'm going to harness said two toot for four energy. And we go RAR. And we're going to hold up a uh, harnessed and a braid here in case they try the same shenaniganry. All right, so um, yeah, that that that's not long for this world. Now you got some energy. All right, so for this, we're not going to play Samuel yet. Um. We're going to hold up Harness Lightning. Because uh, what we could do next turn is be able to... If they don't play a creature, we can double crack. And then... Alright, so it looks like we're getting a creature. Yep. And that creature is about to meet its maker. Hey, no problem. Thanks for stopping by, Billy. We are definitely around. All right, so let's crack a clue. Forgot to good luck have fun our opponent. We may lose because of this. All right. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well... I'm pretty sure I'm sticking to my plan here. And we are totally going to slam down you. Give it double strike. Crack for eight. Hold up the clue draw. And our opponent scoops. So I feel like a uh, struggle would be good here. And the abrades aren't too bad. Um, I think Nissa... probably comes out well Samu good I feel like Samu comes out too um, Tamio is probably better and we're gonna run it like that so let's see we're up a game uh, we do have an oath and a struggle and an abraid. Um, I'm going to keep this because hopefully on the oath we hit a land. And it's got to be a red land. Because red land is good. Yeah, we got a harness too. Alright, so let's we'll go looking for red land. Um... Not so much, so we're going to take the Sanctum here. And... Right now, we have a completely stone unplayable hand. But our opponent is obliging by not doing much. So... We would definitely like an Attune or something like that. That's Ronus. No, it, it doesn't want to give me the red source. It wants to give me everything but the red source. Like, literally one red source, and I'm happy. Yep, 
Yeah, we may just die here. May just die to no red source. Uh, untapped red source would be fantastic here. All right, well, we got a red source. All right, so we do this, we do that. Uh, we can struggle the Helion. If they don't play a creature. Let's see what they do. We may have to straight up struggle it anyway. Yeah, we're going to have to struggle. Because it has to die. All right, so next turn, if I draw another red source, we can Whirler. That's a brawler. Okay, that's kind of unfortunate. We need a, We do need a, the other untapped red source here. Uh, green source will not do me. Nope. Red would be nice. Uh, I think we just run it back. There's really nothing else we could do. Kenny Colburn, 1989. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Spark. Everyone, welcome Kenny to the channel. Number two. And number follower 301. Uh, yeah, we're fine with this. I'll keep this. We have a red source. Awesome. I love all of our followers and everyone watching that doesn't follow, but it still hangs out. All right, that's fine. Double forest. Um, we are going to uh, advocate here. Advocate's kind of a really good body for us. Um, we will be able to Chandra on three, but that's going to blow through a lot of our mana here. Ooh, no, it's not. All right, so we're going to do this, and we're going to do this, get a red source. And we're going to abrade our fine fellow friend there. Let's see if it's Ronas on three again. It's not. Thank God. It's not even a Helion on three. And we got a awesome. We get an unmolested Chandra. Excellent. We're not going to flip over Chandra and deal damage. This turn, we do want to kind of draw the cards, so. Um, so that's. It's seven mana, so we have five, six, seven. We can actually cast Nico next turn. So we have a turn five Nico right now. As long as Chandra. Oh, Chandra's going to stay alive. That was going to be a turn five, Nico. What was our draw? Just as good. But turn five, Chandra. Or turn five, Nico. So that I count as a win. I would say that was uh, well worth it. And uh, completely. I still want to cast Nico.
I definitely am on the list of I want to see what he does. We are on FNM Eve playing a five color mid range deck thanks to Acid Zero in the chat. So if you guys see him in there, you can thoroughly make fun of him. Or not. But I'm probably going to keep this. Uh, let's good luck have fun. Always good luck have fun. Because we are on the draw. We have an oath. You did play it on Monday's stream. And it felt pretty okay, so I wanted to give it I wanted to give it a proper follow through. Cause once uh August hits, we will be in a firm uh driver's seat of figuring out what we are playing for uh GPDC, which I hope we see a lot of you there. Uh, we are going to take uh, the forest. I mean, the oath will let us turn three in Nissa if we draw land land. So this is kind of a loose keep on my part, but um, I always kind of like to see what the decks like to do. So. Given, like, you know, a pseudo land. It's kind of like a half land. Uh, this is the mono red deck. Uh, this is probably a bad keep for me. All right. Need a red source. Got there. All right. So we are going to straight up abrade this. Um, cause it, I mean, if it was two power, we would have, or two toughness, we would have harness lightning. Oh, this is gro This is gross. What are you taking from my hot mess of a hand? I would take the Nissa cause that's about all I can cast at this given point. That's me, though. I would totally rock the Nissa out. Uh, yeah, took the Nissa. That was the smart play. Um, so, all right, we drew a land, but it's not a land we could actually use right now. So, the only good news is uh, we'll be X twoing it, so it'll be a four four. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thought not after thought not. take wanderer no all right no not my wanderer 
I don't know if we get a re honestly duck we're just gonna take a beating here that's a torch you can magma spray your own thing for me no no I guess not all right, well, hey, we made the smart move and got rid of the garrison, but, all right, well, we got a red source, and I think we're still dead. Let's see what we draw. If we draw a creature... Not Nico, so we're going to scoop at that point. We needed a creature. Well, no, if we had a creature that could block it, we were actually okay. Um, so this is where I bring an Hour of Devastation. And bring in the other struggles and take out the abrades. And we are going to take out uh, probably the Nissas. Because we are not X Nissing this game at all. Even though they took it on us. Yeah, we want to go first. All right, tap land, tap land, tap land. Whirler, whirler, struggle. All right, seems fine. Our opponent's really not doing anything till turn three-ish. And whirler is a really solid card here for us. As is struggle. So we're just going to keep playing tap lands. Yeah, see, they're not doing anything here. So we'll sanctum. We will whirler. Always yield to that. We got some energy. The Whirler lives. Yeah, that's a reshaper. So I'm going to play that so we can bring our next turn. Red, blue, green. So we get thopped our opponent to death. We will take three. Yep. So either way, we have it dead next turn. Thought not is not living. Either they take the glory bringer and we kill them with struggle, or yeah, they take glory bringer. So, all right, sweet deal. Boop. Oh, did I not pay a red? I'm bad at this game. There we go. See a thought not. Give me a card. Ooh, piece of candy. We swing. All right, so no thought not. No thought not. No thought. Ooh, okay. Okay, we're good.
Uh, so we are going to create a token. And do that. Minimize the uh, the damage taken here. All right, so let's do that. Uh, first things first. We're gonna do this. Uh, we'll take planes. Those are three cards we did not want. Uh, all right, so we need green. Blue, red, black. All right, so that is uh, called getting our nasty on right now with this. And I mean, energy wise, I'm not too worried about it. Um, we have a ton. We could definitely race. Um, they deal six. We deal ten and put them at two. So I'm not going to. I will take the six. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, I, I know he's got deserts. But I want to deal the 10. All right, Harness Lightning X3. All right, so that puts him at a 4. We can activate... Lumbering Falls here and block and use the energy to block. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't think they can swing. All right. So we're going to make a dude. That's fine. Yep. He knew we, we had him. All right. So that felt good. Now you got to be... Now it's kind of cool. You actually have to be aware of the deserts. So... Oh, uh, let's see what we got. Um, I mean, if we drew a red source, this would be really good. We'll keep this because we are on the draw. And our opponent seems to be like a turn three hit. So, Rogue Refiner is very good for us. Yeah, so we will uh, Sanctum here. If anything, we'll, we're will we just going to have a body from Rogue Refiner to do what we do. Um, yep, Cycling. That's an interesting thing. All right, so they got that, but no turn three play. So we have the Rogue Refiner. All right, so let's get lucky and get a red source here. Yeah, they're going to abrade it, but that's fine. We still get... Oh, we're going to get a blue source. Because, you know... So, I mean, I would take the Woodland Wanderer, 
this is me speaking because the rest of the cards don't scare me too much. Yeah. Wanderer would be a 5-5, five five, and that's very hard for our opponent to deal with. And now we're in the same boat as last time where uh, one red source makes us go, Yay! So really just need a red source here. Yeah, I just haven't been seeing my tunes and all that. I mean, we'll take a hit here. But, I mean, we need a red source. This is two games in a row where we've actually lost to our deck. I mean, I don't want to have to mull a deck that I have to find a red source on. So. Yeah, we're super dead now. I think it's too little too late, but we'll find out. He's got us dead five different ways, but we will take the red source, play the red source, and murder. The only upside is if we draw a Sylvan Advocate here. Uh, you mean Shafet Minor. It's actually a basic land or desert, Kenny. Um, I love it a lot. I actually was playing it yesterday in a teamer shell of, um, so it is a very decent creature right now. Yeah, I'll try that next match. We'll try dropping it um, down a little bit. So let's try this and see if we can't cycle ourselves into something. Because we've got a pretty decent hand. It does. It fixes yourself very well. Um, what we're trying to... What Ryan in the chat here is trying to do is... Do it through like Oath of Nyssa and a tune. Sorry, Nico, you're getting buried. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Um, for this deck, I could definitely um, be okay with it just because cycling on four gets us in a basic, and there's enough basics in here that we are okay with that. Our opponent's a tuning. Oh, we forgot to good luck have fun our opponent. You always good luck have fun them. All right, so we did get a, we did get that out. So I mean, we should be able to Nissa or Whirler next turn. Whirler will give us three energy, which will then let us do a lot of other things. Uh, it depends on what my opponent does. All right, servant. Um, we're not dead to servant here. Um, I think we're going to do this and scry some lands and top and top because we'll be able to whirler to give us energy to 
is this Chandra? Yeah. So I'm sure they'll tick down on that. Yep. That's fine. Boop. Why, yes, I'd love to play that. Alright, so they'd have to Chandra and not take whatever they get. And I'm fine with Nissa dying because we have Chandra and the whole other cast of friends. Uh, they may want to cast Champion, though. That's not an exilable card. That's not a card you really want to exile. This is uh, Merge. To kill Nissa or to not kill Nissa? Ooh. We got a free exile champion. I am okay with that. We can glory bring her knock Nissa down to two. Yeah. Or knock Chandra down to two. Actually we can kill Chandra now. Alright, well that makes my life really easy. Alright, so let's glory bring her. We'll we'll bring the bringer. Let's go with that. And Chandra will die. Oh. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, well, we're still going to attack and aim that at Little Miss Chandra. All right, so debating on what we got, I may Tamio or Samet because a minus two on Samet gets rid of some of these jokers. This is probably yeah. This is Glorybringer. No. This is Nico. Alright, well that's fine. We're just going to uh what were they getting? Yeah, no. Alright, so we're fighting against the Nico deck. Um that means then the gates come in. Um Struggle comes out. I think. I'm trying to think which way we want to go here. Sam comes out. Think taking a braid out. I think that's how we would do it. Nahiri's not bad in this matchup either. Because she exiles. Um, yeah, I mean, we're fine with this. 
we can tune out all of our colors and oath. So let's keep So I'm gonna oath this turn. And then we won't matter what we attune for. Um because I'm going to take that. Yeah, we want a Chandra here. Next turn, we'll double a tune. Yep. So let's a tune number one. Get planes. Tune number two. Get a mountain. All right, so we can Woodland Wanderer now. And no Servant, so that's actually good for us. That's a Deco, so that's a Terrified Deco we're looking at right now. I may go for the turn 5 Deco instead, depending on what my opponent's doing. They didn't see we were playing. They saw a few walkers. They didn't see everything. All right, so. Do we turn five Nico or not? I feel like we don't, and we protect our board a little bit. Blue, green, red. We're going to go Woodland Wanderer. So it'll be a turn six, Nico, which is fine. So, I mean, technically they could harness lightning right here. That's a bristling hydra. Okay, that's fine. And now what we do is offer the trade. They can block, but it's all their pumps. And if they have a land and a glory bringer, we're pretty dead, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're getting glory bringered here, so we may pay off with that and be able to Nico. All right, so they're gonna tune. So we're gonna get an achievement here, guys. Nope, 
We're not. They are going to hit and take all that energy. And they're going to kill poor Chandra. That's fine. We need to go in two turns anyway. Would have been nice. But that's fine. Alright, so we're going to play the tap land. And we are going to glory the bringer. And we are going to murder the uh, servant here. Because if they have Nico, they can cast it uh, ahead of us. And we don't want to have Nico Wars. So I'd much rather just murder it. And we actually do. We run two hours of devastation. So, which I brought in. That's fine. Well, we came here to do it. The key is, do we go to eight and exile their hand, or do we go to get something out of their... I think we exile... That's a glory bringer. No, I think uh, we do need some radiant flames in the side. I do agree. I think there's something that needs to be there. All right, what's our opponent discarding? A uh, servant. Uh, did they draw glory? Oh my goodness. Really? Bye, Nico. Should have just dealt seven to my opponent. All right, let's see what we can find. All right, we get a redraw. No land to play, so we'll do that. Probably should have just done seven, because that would have put him on the back foot. Uh, glory bringer off the top. Man. All right, let's get a Harness Lightning here. That deals with Bringer. All 
Well, we did get rid of a tracker and a bringer. I mean, I'm not in love with it, but it's something. Did they really draw another bringer? No, Chandra, okay. They got in a tune, they can cast a tune. Nope, we're gonna take the two. Are they gonna exert it? Are we gonna have a good old staring match? There we go. That's fine. We've cycled out a lot of garbage. Now it's just a matter of finding. Yup. Uh, we're going at Torch. Where do we go at him? Put him at six. Torch or Nahiri kills it. I think we go at Torch. Make Nahiri tick down. Because their bringer is not untapping this turn, so. Yeah, either way, he's going to kill bringer. And I think I'd rather have torch at one. Uh, That would be a Ryan question. That's acid zero in there, so he can definitely answer that. That's not what we want. Bristling Hydra's a pain. All right, come on. Give me something good here. What's up, Brian? All right, now that is what I am talking about. Torch. And torch. All right, so he's going to pump. Opponent is pumping. I am actually completely fine with this. Flame color will not die. Unless they tick up torch in exile. Did he get Nico? Yup. 
GG. No way to deal with. The good old hardcast Nico. Alright, let's fix the mana. Alright, so let's do that. And... Do that. I mean, a deck isn't horrible. It just needs... It needs playing. I mean, any deck that we've built so far has been one of those ones where I'm like, it's not... Oh, yeah, we'll keep this for sure. Alright, so let's Oath first. Because we have lands, so I'm not too worried about grabbing a land. Oh, man. Why does Nico got to be there? Our, oh, it's our same opponent. So. So I'm not too worried about that part. Like, I'm actually... The only thing you did is went from four color to five color. And, uh... Just basically added Nico to the deck with some other tidbits of awesomeness. Uh, let's try it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? He said knowingly. Let's find a land in the top three cards. Preferably a red source. Red source? I guess we'll take the green source. And we'll see. I tend to keep a risky one or two just to see what the deck does. Um, it just kind of gives me a whole idea. And when you re when you rewatch these replays um, as the deck builder or the person that brewed up the deck, or if you just watch your own replays back, because you can do that on Moto, um, you see where, like, your deck is okay and not. So, for me, it just shows if you can keep a one-lander with an oath or if not. Because, I mean, technically, it's like keeping one and a half lands. Which, normally, I would mulligan it away at a heartbeat. But we just paid off big. So, top deck, a tune of the century. So, normally, would I keep this? Probably not. Am I keeping it now? God, yes. Um, I will probably track her on three. Because our opponent's doing nothing. Um, actually, you know what? Let's... Rogue Refiner. Redraw Rogue what we get off that and that's an advocate so that's fine if we don't draw land we can advocate an oath otherwise uh, we can tracker and land and then get ourselves a clue All right, so, yep, we are going to Oath. Look for the fourth land. This has got to be like a blue-black control shell. I would take it if they're taking their time to think if we're going to counter. Um, God, they all are good. Um, take the hub. Oh, he's got sensor. He's got to have sensor. 
Our opponent definitely has to have sensor. I'm going to do this. My gut is saying there's a sensor there. Normally, I will track her first and get my clues, but I think there's a sensor in there. Like, because they thought long and hard when I oathed. And so I think they're thinking... Yeah, let's see. I'm pretty sure. Let's pan. No. Pan harmonicon. What are we looking at? But guess what? We will abrade the pan harmonicon. Probably should have left that Aether Hub up. But that's fine. Right now we're dealing five a turn. Uh, Gyre Reach is fine. I'll totally discard. Is this another Panharmonicon? No, this is a Gonti. All right, what's up, Gonti? You could take whatever you so choose. Now we're going to kill Gonti here. Um, first things first, we're going to attune. Get another Mutin. And murder Gonti. Well, he's dying anyway, so. Essence Flux on the Gonti. Interesting. Guess what? I come prepared. Turn him sideways, boys. We are going RAR. Alright. Draw land. We have him dead. We have him dead anyway. Yes. What do you got for me? You got a glory bringer for me. Alright. Uh-huh. 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 What are you killing? You pick the wrong one. Alright, you know what? Whatever. We're going to be mana efficient here. Might as well be mana efficient. You exerted. I do not need to. Because I cannot kill a dragon with a glory bringer. But I have seven exactly. So we will murder you. Alright. So. Uh, Panharmonicon. Okay, so I bring in the full set of abrades. Uh, Samut comes out. Struggle's gonna come out. I wanna bring in the Heeries. Uh, Tamio comes out, I think. Yeah, I think we bring in the Yeah. 
Yeah, that seems right. Could be doing it wrong, I don't know. Well, I mean, let's go on risky again. Being on the draw. All right, so we're going to get a red source here. We can advocate. All right, runner, runner lands. Runner, runner lands. Prism. This is a strange brew. Okay, that's a good in. I mean, I'm fine with Woodland Wanderer X3. Just give me another land. I hope everyone's having a good night tonight. This is, uh... Yeah, you transgress away. I would probably take one of these two. Not this, because this is far off from being casted. If you take this... Alright, so they take a Glorybringer. I mean, I guess I could see that. I would probably be going after the Woodland Wanderers, personally. Opponent missed a land drop. And a scoop. What were we getting there? Oath. One, two, three. Yep, we got there. All right, so that was fine. We'll count that as a win. Check. This is true. I mean, Woodland Wanderer gets very confused when people do. But I'm okay with that. So I hope everyone's enjoying the new uh, schedule we have with our YouTube. So we can make affiliate status very happy. Be lucky I'm not singing to you guys tonight, so. Forgot my exclamation points. My opponent now knows. We are good looking, have funning them. But yeah, I you know, I so far I've not found a deck that I've not been super happy with. So I think next week we're going to do a little ode to, uh, yeah, we cannot keep this. Uh, probably control next week. Um, I mean, I'm fine with this. We can keep. Because we get our little rogue refiner. Uh, yeah, we'll put that on top. If anything, we can Chandra. And that gives us our double red. Yeah, I mean, so far, I mean, there's nothing out of the pool that I've been like, no, we just can't play that deck. And I do want to just test the Jeskai control shell. I know a braid's running around, and there's really not, it may be four color, just so we can, like, Cast Nico. But. Alright, 
So we can do this, this turn. So we got Jund. I think right now the format's moved super mid-range, which is actually fine. Like, the mono red deck, I think, is our aggro shell. Ooh. We got retreats. Um... But I don't know. Like, I mean, there's two ticks red still floating around. There's monument I don't consider. Um, I'm going to tick up and just ignore that. We're going to hit them. No, monument's not an aggro deck. Um, there is the Esper aggro deck that's out there. And vehicles is still a deck that you gotta respect. But it's hurting. Very right, gain for life. Uh one one counters. Okay. Alright, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Well, Glorybringer still murders it, so. I mean, I'm going to murder it with Glorybringer totally. That's fine. I think we're actually okay here. Alright, so we're going to go like this. And then we're going to exert. And murder the tracker. Alright, that, that, I'm fine with it. Now we have a minus three if we really want to. And if they don't have a way to deal with it we have nine in hand technically if we draw a land they're dead okay oh we got a brew i mean i love this i love seeing the brews all right um All right, let's go with this. Yep. Seems good. Um... Can I do both? Yes. Boop. Do, do, do. You can go away. Yep. Go rar. Oh. I love going RAR. Every now and again, when you get to cast Sabu, you're like, yay, I cast Sabu. And then you punch him in the face really hard. Do I think it's a good card? No. Is it a fun card? Yes. Um... 
All right, so we can track her, and if we get a red source, we are online. So let's go lead off with our green. Zomberts. It's a Zomberts deck. How dare it. Well, deck. You're, you're going to have to give up the red source sooner or later here. All right, so I know there's a swamp, so they got five unknowns. Um, what do we want to discard? I feel like this. Yeah, we'll discard Samu. Because... We're not punching things anytime in the near future. Yep, we'll take one. I mean, we're not in bad shape yet. Um, all right, so let's attune. Get a red source. Play the red source. And hold up and a braid. For a well, we are going to a braid uh, this guy. You cannot have my braid. You can have any of the other ones. May I recommend Tracker? You did take my Tracker. Alright, so they're not... I would have attacked... Um, so let's play the red tap source, because now we're just going to start leading out with Whirlers. And now we are basically playing to any of our strengths at this point. Champion. Interesting. So he's drawing two, discarding two. Haunted dead. All right, so this is a uh, recursion deck. Interesting. All right, so... Let's refiner. Gather some more energy. Play a land. S swing. Does our opponent not want to block? No. Of course not. They never do. I mean, I'm fine. I mean, our opponent can get back Haunted Dead at this point. They have to discard two cards. If they play anything else and they don't discard two cards, then we're okay. But Haunted Dead, I mean, it's a 2-2. Alright, we're emerging. 
That's completely acceptable. You're getting a whirler. That's seven. They got five. I mean, we've got a ton of outs. We're not even close to being dead ish. Alright, let's track her. Land. Uh, no attacks. Uh, we will probably crack our clue. It's seven, seven. They have six right now. No attacks. Crack a clue. Draw some cards. Got an Aether Hub. That's fine. All right. We like this. Gets a clue. They can't discard. So we can tap them down. And we have them dead next turn. All right, so they can champion of wits, but that isn't going to get me. All right, that's fine. We'll just Tamio tip down. We have five, eight. I'll make a few Thopters. Yep. Yep, yep. All right. So, I mean, this is where Crook comes in because we're playing with our graveyard. Um, struggle, not so much. Samo is not so much either. We just bring in the easy removal. But I've enjoyed this. This has been a enjoyable deck. It's not a bad take on things. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. Yeah, I think this is... I mean, it looks like it's Blue Black Emerge. I mean... We're set to combat it pretty well. Um, because we just get, we have bigger threats. I mean, plain and simple. Um, yeah, this is fine. Yep. Keep. No reveal. All right. And there is the all-star. When she is good, she is amazing. And getting through board stalls like that is just completely fine with me. Okay. Yep. Um. I'm debating right now. 
Gonna braid that. Can't cast Tamio, so I think we dump the Tamio. Yeah. Now we draw that. Um, so we'll hold up. But we are online with just about everything. And I'd rather be punchy punchy than anything. Tamio is good. Glorybringer is better. And these two just fill a really nice little hole for us. Uh, we'll probably take two here. See if they cast anything second main. If they don't, we will abrade the mummy. Uh, so we're going to discard. Um, I think we discard Whirler. So I'm going to abrade that. The Whirler lets us draw. So the vert or the rogue lets us draw. So let's dump that. So we will do that. That ups us a card. Sweet, it's a land. So we have Glorybringer mana now. I mean, they discarded a Haunted Dead, so I mean, we are going to have to fight through a Haunted Dead, but they only have three cards in hand. And we are fine with taking this because we are going to... Um, just start rolling. Oh, even better. Okay. Um, wow. Yep. Draw again. Another hub. Yeah, I mean, the man is working out pretty well. So I'm pretty sure they should be getting Haunted Dead back here. And, yeah, there's the prized amalgam. So we're fine with this. We'll probably end up racing it. Um, what did they discard? They discarded, oh, land and amalgam. All right, so we are going to, wait, let me, let me math here. So we got two, four, five, eight. And I have six, 10. If I turn everything sideways. All right, so we're going to block the prize to Malcolm because they have nothing to get back out of the yard yet. Just doing my math. All right. Uh, this is working out a lot better than I thought. All right, so we are going to... Uh, Turn things sideways here. And we are going to exert. I'm going to leave Haunted Dead alive. But kill the mummy. 
Because we can race now. We're doing seven. They're doing three. So... I'm fine with this. All right, so let's land. Land. All right, now we got a four or five advocate. Basically, I want to keep the haunted dead alive for as long as possible. Now my opponent's got to respect the basically we have them dead on board. So they're going to have to block the bringer and something else. But what I'll do is before combat, kill the spirit. And then either way, we got seven. Because if we murder the haunted dead before that, they can actually bring it back and block. So we don't want to have that happen. Because the spirit then can block. I mean, it really doesn't matter. But if you want, if I see the right line, my line is a braid the spirit. Attack with everything. Don't exert. Make them block the 4-5, and they still take 7. So they need to add another creature to the board right now. My opponent's actually saying that's a strange take on team or energy. Splashing white. GG. So. So I, I guess they saw the the writing was right there. So. Yuppers. Yeah, I mean, they could have. They needed a land. And they could have gotten somewhere. So. Yeah. What time is it? What's up, Yitz? All right, so I think we're going to call it a night. We got about two hours in on this one. And I'll go over it one more time. So this is Acid Zero's list. Uh, he's in chat. This is also Ryan. He's our one of our streamers for our the Spark here. Um, so it's a five-color mid-range deck. Uh, the reason being is we did add black uh, one black source for Nico. But with Oath of Nyssa, Hubs... Really has not been a problem. We casted, we were going to cast him once. We never really got him on the battlefield. Oh, we did. We got him and then he died because our opponent top decked a glory bringer. But uh, he was testing out Samut. I think Samut gets cut out of the list. It's just not where he wants to be. Um, Woodland Wanderer was fantastic anytime it hit the field. Um, our opponents did not know how to deal with them. Um,. A good enough removal package. Uh, I definitely liked that a lot. Um, the Chandras, both of them in the deck were great. Nissa, we saw the one time, set up a nice little ramp out. That was fine. Um, 
Tamio is an all star when she hits. Um, I definitely do enjoy a Tamio, for sure. Um, struggle is actually good, yet. Uh, cause we'd have five mana out and then be able to struggle a bigger creature. So one main, I could see moving it all to main and maybe taking, I think putting Nahiri into the Samut's place. I think Nahiri in this deck is just a little bit more important. So and if we cut the struggle, I'd go to the fourth bringer. Well, not cut it, but so if I did it, if I had my th way right now, I'd probably do this, 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 that, and that. I think that's how I would look at it. And then add some Radiant Flames in the board. I'm not in love with Hour in this deck. It's fine. But I think Flames is better. Because really, once this deck gets rolling, it's just like out of control. It's You have walkers, and walkers are very hard for things for the people to deal with. I don't want to lose my walkers and have to worry about Hour of Devastating on 5. Like, Hour, I feel like Hour of Devastation is like a Jeskai Control, or Blue Red Control, or Grixis Control. Yep. So I feel like our gets cut. And maybe add another flame caller to the board. Or even another Nico to the board. Because he is very impactful. It's just you need to get him out. So. Yeah, Nico doesn't I mean if I was to ignore Nico, and look at the main, and ignore Nico, that na main board is still very good. And may keep it four color. Yeah, I don't have any Radiance in here right now. I don't think I have any Radiance. I don't think I picked any up. No. Like, I think that's very good. And I think I would add in... If I wanted another Impact Walker, I'd add another Chandra Flame Caller. Or bring in the other Nahiri. I mean, you know. Yeah, I know. It's... It's one of those, I mean, a braid really does make the board, make it good. So. Well, we got two torches right now. We have two main. And they really kind of amp us up. So. I mean, I hate saying it, but I, I mean, Nico's fine. He's impactful. I probably should have minus. Yeah, torch is great, especially in this deck because we I've torched and then glorybringered and then held up like and been able to hold up like in a braid or harness lightning, and it's felt really good. Uh, trackers felt subpar most of the games. Um. Struggle, I am fine with. It was actually a good card. I think it's more of a cyborg card for what we want. So, I mean, I could go to f another Tamiyo and two Nihiris. It's one of those... I don't know where I really want to be with it, but I do like the bones of it. And going very happy like four color walkers scares people. Because still to date, never is not a big card. And either is Runa's Path. And it's very, there's not much walker removal out there. And if you stick two walkers, 
people have a hard time dealing with it. Especially when you're sticking two walkers and then possibly sticking like a woodland wanderer. Uh, the two crooks I had, I ran it in green red. And I had two crooks in the side, and it was actually fine for that matchup. Not great, but fine. I thought I liked survive better because I could struggle and then survive and then just shuffle it all away. I mean, exiling is good, but is better, but. If you could shuffle it away, it's out of your hands. You don't have to worry about it. Especially if it's like a deck that's playing with their graveyard. Just put it back in their deck. You're not milling them out. You don't care. Put it away. So. Yep. But other than that, the deck I thought was really solid. I definitely agree Radiant Flames goes back into the board. Um, and that's what I mean struggle is I think better because you're killing something and then you're shuffling it all away it's like champion of wits hits great <whistles> gone so I'm going to end it here uh, deck, I we did end it on a positive, so I mean we didn't lose too many matchups. I think we only lost about two or three, and we did win a lot more than that. So I'll definitely give the deck props. Uh, it's definitely got legs still. Walker's still good, confirmed. Surprise, surprise. Um, other than that, guys, thank you everyone for coming out. As always, we hit 300. Hallelujah, you guys are awesome. 300 followers on Twitch. We're getting real close to 200 subs on YouTube. So the spark is growing. Announcements are a coming and we'll see you all guys. See you all very, very soon. Have a good FNM everyone. Bye.